Right, this is going to be my most controversial video yet, right? But and someone is going to fucking want to kill me or something for this, right? But I've, I've I've got a story for you, okay? Right, when I was in school, I wasn't the best behaved kid, but I was never one of the real bad ones, right? There was a time I think I was in year nine, or it might have been year ten, doesn't matter, because it was all middle school at Northgate, right? Three or four boys from my group in a certain class had stolen some things, and no one was coming forward, and they somehow knew that I would have known who it was. So they bring me into the office, right? So there's our head of year, he's sitting there, he's talking to me and he's saying, Ashley, if you don't tell me who has done this, because I know that you know, you are as bad as the people who stole these items. So I'm sitting there and I'm feeling guilty as hell, but I wouldn't grasp because it's not me. I don't, I'm not sitting there like some fucking hero, but I would not do that. These people are my friends, or if even if they're not my friends, they're my classmates, you don't do it. So don't, but he's sitting there trying to make me feel like, I am as bad as a thief for covering for the people who've done it, right? This is cool, whatever. That sort of thing sticks with me. Like, I remember things like that about people. He's tried to categorise me as someone who's that bad. Right, that's fine. He, do what you fucking like. You're a teacher, I don't, whatever. When I leave school, I've got nothing to do with you. Right, now get yourself onto the Ipswich Star homepage and look at the main headline, because it turns out this guy who's tried to make me feel bad for covering for people who stole some poxy items from school has just been done for fucking um, sex offences with kids. It's fucking unreal. I really shouldn't make this video. I reckon I reckon it won't be long. I'll probably have to take this down once all the stick stops, starts, whatever, but... Fuck me. That's unbelievable. I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom of this, and... Um... Fuck. I can't, I can't get over it. What I will say, and I know this this doesn't put me in the best light, but obviously what's, what he's done has come to light. I always, apart from the situation I've just mentioned, I always got the feeling that this guy was a stand-up, genuine... Like, you know, you've got your teachers who are teachers, and then you've got your teachers who are... You, you get the feeling like, yeah, once he leaves here, he's just a geezer. Do you know what I mean? He's just a, a, a bloke or whatever, but... I, I never had a problem with him. It's not... This, is, this video is not a witch hunt. It's like, oh, go and get this guy because he's done this, but... Oh, fucking, I can't believe it, man. Go ahead and leave a comment on this video to tell me what a piece of shit I am for capitalising on someone's, I don't know if you call it misfortune, he's just been caught for something that he did wrong, but this is what I do. I make videos about things that are going on in my life and around around my life sort of thing. I, I must be bo I'm boring myself talking about it now, I must be boring you. Quote of the day today comes from a teacher from Northgate School who once said, if they're old enough to bleed, they're old enough to breed. I'm, I, I'm fucking ashamed of that one, sorry. Fuck it, I'm putting it out anyway.